namo lai ke da du da ni jin ke tu bum ta da mi ke nam da ro wa kun je da ke je tam ba tham je ke do da ke chu tan to da cha ke tam ba nyam me tu pe wan bi sab je do tu ma me ba la go ve rab de 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 go sum ke pa che bi Chancer sing jabsu and chiu. Daja ki balden lama. Rida jinkur jantu chabda. Garden tomba may be terchen bun cho ki. Shabje dulce mame bala. Go rab du tete. Go sum kupa chembu. Chancer sing jabsu chiu. Dato simjian tamchichi. Ju chinje labor. Zedu sol. Baldin Savela Mar, Rimbo Che, Dagi, Chiwrebeme, Dejula, Garden Chimbugone, Jezonte, Gosung, Tuji, Mudupzal do Sol. Wuna, Nankatan, Yembe, Simjin, Tamjan, Namjan, Lana Mepa, Yang, Dapa, Zobe, Sanji, Compar, Bochella. Gober cha de chedo, talam, tambi, chu, samon chepala, chu, nimbe, gunhonda, gunju, number tape, sental. Today, as I was requested, I will be elaborating on prophecies. Actually, the prophecy by definition is Buddha Shakyamuni after his enlightenment then past and present and future are not dualistic. They are part and parcel of each other. Ultimately, time is relative. Therefore, what Buddha manifested is events of the past, of many, many eons. And also, the cosmology of infinite space with infinite amount of universe and galaxies and so on and so forth. How they come about, how they continue, how they come to an end. At the same time, one is rising, another one is ending, so on and so forth. So that is uh, there in an enormous detail. And uh, I will not go into this because right now we have only 45 minutes. In this, what I am sharing with you here, I want it to be truly, personally, timely, relevant as possible. So I should and I will do my best. But I must base on prophecy. Okay. Now, Buddha prophesied, and also Guru uh, Padma Sambhava prophesied. They're all same in outcome. And uh, although Buddha, by definition, is the potential of you, potential of me, and potential of everyone, our innate primordial potential. Each one of us have limitless potential. And when that potential is fully matured, awakened, not only discovered, but awakened and become, you become what you 
ultimately always has been. Then that is what we call Buddhahood. It is not becoming something else and someone else. You become you. But your ultimate, your primordial, your true ultimate potential, limitless. And now, based on that, then what happened in the past, what is happening right now, what will happen in the future, they are all spelled out by Buddha Shakyamuni and also by Guru Padma Sambhava. The gap between Buddha Shakyamuni and Guru Padma Sambhava is many centuries, but the essence is the same. And now, since uh, mm, uh, the subject is Guru Rinpoche, Guru Padma Sambhava's uh, prophecy, okay. You should understand this is exactly what Buddha Shakyamuni also uh, prophesied in his teachings. So, Guru Padma Sambhava said that the teaching of Buddha, uh, everybody called Buddhism, as we know today, it will last its purity and relevance because the blessing, the knowledge, the wisdom, the lineage of all of it will live 5,500 years. So out of that, we are 2,500 plus. But it is also mentioned that if the disciples, the followers, the practitioners, the teachers, the gurus, the monks, nuns, everyone, if they go in a contaminated manner, if, let's make it very straight, if they corrupt the pure teachings of Buddha, then it will degenerate. Then lifespan of Buddha's teaching will not be 5,500 years. Very clearly mentioned. And what will be the cause and who will be responsible for the uh, uh, degeneration of the Lord Buddha's teaching is the teachers who, is, who are teaching the Buddha's teaching. If they are not teaching according to Lord Buddha's genuine original teaching, which we call teaching of the lineage, and also, they will not live the teaching. If they become uh, corrupted, then the teaching will not last for 5,500 years. But then it is also mentioned the outer shell, look-alike Buddhism, will last for tens of thousands of years. And books will last for tens of thousands of years. The, the dogmas and the institutions will last for tens of thousands of years, of course. But the genuine teaching is 5,500 years. So, in this uh, context, then now we can go one step further and uh, in prophecies how the entirety of the humanity is uh, described then uh, we have to look at uh, uh, 
the Sanskrit terminology. Sati Yuga or Kirti Yuga uh, and uh, Kali Yuga. So Sati Yuga means uh, light, the day, and uh, that is uh, uh, Yuga means uh, uh, the uh, time span of a life of a universe life of a galaxy, life of a planet, uh, I mean solar system. Solar system, a galaxy and universe. So uh, all of these uh, have its own life uh, circle and in that cycle then uh, uh, Satyug is when everything is perfect. So when everything is perfect, then there is no negativity. Uh, when everything manifests, then there is no need for desire or attachment and it will not arise and there is no uh, uh, anger and aggression, it will not arise. There's no lineage of attachment and there's no lineage of anger and there's no lineage of ignorance and there's no lineage of jealousy and there's no lineage of ego, ego pride and so on and so forth and fear, etc. When it does not occur in that particular yuga that is described as a satyug or krita yug and light uh, eon or day eon if you like. So uh, unfortunately uh, I am not in this right now and uh, we are all not in this right now but some individuals who are awakened for them it is like that. But uh, for general, uh, let's say, beings in our solar system, our galaxy, our universe are not in this uh, yuk. And then another yuk, if not sat yuk or light uh, eon or day eon, then it will be kali yuk, dark eon or night eon, uh, positive negative sense. So then we are unfortunately in this uh, eon, Kali's yug. Now what makes the Kali yug is because uh, uh, basically uh, our uh, primordial wisdom its manifestation is corrupted and degenerated, then it is degenerated into five defilement. For example, uh, the uh, 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 Dharma space uh, Ultimate sense, everything is perfect and uh, everything is part and parcel of the Dharma space, which is emptiness, voidness, but not the negative emptiness. Everything is perfect. That is the uh, 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 first wisdom and uh, when we don't realize this then it becomes ignorance. So how does ignorance manifest? Ignorance manifests as a self, I. Long as we limit ourselves to me, I, then everything else will uh, fall into that direction. So that degeneration and that 
corruption lead to the next. So when I becomes predominant, then I like the attachment. I like certain things. I like it this way. Uh, I like this feeling, etc., etc. So that will manifest. Uh, I will not go into the uh, fi- details of the five wisdom, which will take so much time, but uh, I will just uh, uh, mention the names and the order. So, Dharma, space, wisdom, uh, 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 discernment, wisdom, uh, mirror like uh, wisdom, and uh, equanimity, wisdom all accomplished wisdom. So when they are not uh, recognized and realized and uh, uh, then uh, we get corrupted into ignorance, uh, lash, uh, aggression, ego pride and jealousy. So how bad they are uh, we all know because uh, all of us have our fair share of uh, uh, suffering and shortcomings uh, because of our uh, ego, because of our greed, because of our aggression, because of our uh, ego pride, not just the self, but ego pride, and then jealousy. It is very, very uh, strange, uh, actually. Uh, when we think about it. But uh, for us it is very normal because we are in Kali's Yuga. In Kali's Yuga, uh, all these uh, five defilement or five neurosis or five poisons are normal. So, so uh, this way, uh, uh, out of ignorance, uh, greed, uh, and then when we don't get what we want, then uh, uh, we get angry. And uh, if we get what we don't want, then we get angry. So, so this three is the base. We call it three main poison. Poison means it destroys the joy, the happiness, the compassion, the love, the kindness and the wisdom. It destroys this. Therefore, they are called uh, poisons. And outcome, the two of them are very, very clear. For example, what is the ego pride? Ego pride is uh, when I get what I want very easily, and when I see others don't get what they want easily, and they have to struggle, then instead of uh, uh, feeling appreciative of what I have and feeling, feeling compassionate to those others, having sympathy and empathy towards the others, then it becomes ego pride. Then ego pride uh, makes yourself unhappy because uh, ego pride makes us uh, arrogant. An arrogant person is uh, never happy because uh, uh, it doesn't make others happy. And, uh, uh, and uh, when you are arrogant towards others who are less than you, then it creates suffering within yourself and with others. And disharmony starts right there. And another example is even more clear, that is a jealousy. Because uh, jealousy is uh, uh, very, very transparent in uh, its uh, fallacy. For example, <coughs> excuse me, when somebody is uh, in trouble and somebody is suffering, you don't feel jealous. The jealous only comes when somebody is doing well. Don't you think that's terrible? And that naturally leads to 
then this evil aspect of uh, enjoyment, almost uh, euphoric enjoyment of others' suffering, the result of that and outcome of that is self-explanatory throughout the history. All kind of disharmony, all kind of conflicts, all kind of uh, inflicting harms on the others. We make ourselves we and then them and then inflict suffering on them is sort of uh, pride of uh, us. And that's terrible, but that is uh, the uh, definition of Kali's Yuga. And so that's jealousy. And then another very strange thing is uh, uh, the, the, it's actually idiotic, but uh, uh, it, it's easy to say, but when it happens, it happens, you know. So for example, uh, when some stranger who you have no connection, you don't know, not your friend, not your relative, uh, not, not, nothing to do with uh, what you're supposed to be, then if they're having a very big celebrations and all kind of uh, wonderful things, you admire uh, and uh, you talk about it and you try to copy it and all kind of things. There's no jealousy. But if it is, if the other one who is really having the glorious, uh, let, let, let's say, uh, a pinnacle uh, time, uh, then, uh, then uh, uh, if that one is uh, your relative or your friend or your kind or something like that, then there is a big chance for you to develop jealousy. Uh, then jealousy means somebody is happy, make you unhappy. Somebody is glorious, make you unhappy. And that naturally means not spoken uh, easily, but I will say it. That means that when, some, when that one, that person is doing a little bit less uh, well than you are, then you will not have jealous, you know? So I will not go further, it's too negative. But uh, uh, you have to face the definition of these five poisons. You have to face, I have to face, we all have to face. I don't mean I don't have five poisons. Of course I have five poisons. That's why I'm not enlightened, I'm not Buddha yet then how can I talk about it? Because of the lineage of the Lord Buddha's teaching, and uh, that is continued. So within this uh, 5,500 period, uh, then uh, when you receive the genuine lineage, and you do your best to live it, then you can talk about it. So, so that is uh, uh, the basic uh, definition of uh, Kali's Yuga, and uh, then uh, satyuk, uh, light eon, and uh, or day eon, and uh, positive eon, and then dark yug or night yug or negative eon. So, so that is the definition that what I have mentioned. So, what happens in this yug? Then there is, uh, there is uh, uh, the time period of uh, disease, it is mentioned. In Tibetan language, Neji Kalpa, Tsunji Kalpa, Mugi Kalpa. So Neji Kalpa means the, the time period of disease, all kind of disease. And then Tsunji Kalpa means the time period of uh, weapons, all kind of weapons. And then, uh, then Mugi Kalpa means time period of uh, starvation. 
the starvation of uh, uh, food, their life sustenance. So, so uh, through uh, what we went uh, in the past one and a half year, almost two years, uh, it is uh, uh, quite uh, self-explanatory of the uh, time of uh, pandemic, this disease. And uh, 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 then it is dis uh, prophesied that there's, there will be all kinds of disease. And disease that you have, we have never heard of. And disease that we don't have cure. We don't know how to cure. In the principle of uh, Lord Buddha's teaching, you cannot have a disease which does not have a cure uh, in principle. Yes. But the, the, if disease is so abnormal and unusual, then we did not discover the cure. Therefore, it is bad as if there is no cure. But then, of course, there is a cure. And uh, every kind of terrible disease that uh, happened in the past, we found cure and uh, a remedy. And uh, any kind of disease that uh, will happen in the future, of course, we will find a, a cure and a remedy. But since they are the definition of time of the disease means the disease after disease after disease after disease, so that they cannot catch up with the discovering the cure for the disease and cure for the disease. So that way it becomes a, a terrible time for all sentient beings and particularly uh, human beings uh, we are talking about, but all sentient beings suffer. Then weapon also same, because there's no end for what kind of uh, uh, weapons possible, possible. Because possibility is, uh, is, uh, uh, cannot, be, uh, uh, cannot be limited. So, so uh, during this time period of Tsunji uh, Karpa, uh, the, the, the uh, time of the weapon, then there will be no end and no limit for the power of the weapon and the damage and suffering and uh, 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 suffering that the weapon can inflict. So that is described as a Tsunji Kalpa. Then uh, the muki kalpa means uh, starvation. Now here, the starvation is uh, of course always exist, but when it is a period of the starvation means entire humanity suffers the starvation. Just like entire humanity suffers the uh, weapon, Entire humanity suffer the disease, the same way entire humanity suffer the starvation. And uh, uh, all of that is coming from uh, these five uh, poison or five uh, uh, corruption, uh, five uh, defilement. And then that goes uh, very clearly with five elements. For example, like ignorance, it is like the space. It is so vast, so perfect, and so pure. But when it is not recognized and not realized, not mastered, then it is enormous, overwhelming. Then other elements are like uh, fire, water, Earth, air, the four elements which manifest within the element of the space. And uh, so, so five element and uh, uh, five uh, neurosis uh, are connected. Uh, not only connected, it is uh, part and parcel. And then that is also part and parcel of five wisdom, 
five primordial wisdom. When it is not realized and corrupted and uh, degenerated, then, then it manifests as a five poison. And that manifests as a, all kind of sufferings that uh, we have just uh, described and learned. Now, uh, then uh, when we talk about uh, uh, corruption, okay, uh, actually uh, there is uh, 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 five uh, defilement uh, or not, defilement is not exactly the right word, degeneration is a better word, five degeneration and five corruption. So uh, let me uh, describe them one by one. Uh, the first is uh, 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 corruption or degeneration uh, of uh, life. Then uh, maybe uh, degeneration is much more, much more uh, easier for us to, to relate to. So degeneration of life. Uh, uh, now, that is uh, 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 life itself. Uh, we might live a few years longer or a few years shorter, but quality of life is such that, uh, uh, that uh, we are not able to live a true uh, happy, uh, positive, uh, con conducive, and uh, uh, pinnacle uh, uh, level of life. We are not able to. We just uh, uh, look for it. We just uh, dream about it. We just uh, run after it. But, uh, uh, but uh, uh, as we run after it, then life is... Uh, not long. Uh, uh, in our time, uh, people live uh, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus, 110, 115 are very, 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 very rare. And uh, most people die somewhere 70, 80, 90, somewhere there. And then many people die very young. And, uh, and also many people die uh, just during the birth. Uh, that means didn't even live one day. And uh, many people die uh, inside the mother and not even born. So it is uh, uh, still part and parcel of the mother, but not yet uh, have his or her own life. So that is a, a degeneration of life, one example. Uh, uh, th these are, uh, uh, these are uh, characteristics of uh, Kali's Yuga, uh, the, the uh, eon. Uh, so that's one. And then the second one is uh, 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 degeneration of uh, uh, affliction or defilement, which I have just mentioned. Uh, the, the uh, ignorance uh, uh, at the uh, uh, lash, lash and uh, mm, uh, agreed, etc. Five defilement I have mentioned. So, so that, that becomes a, a very uh, normal thing. Uh, everybody don't have to uh, uh, learn about it. Nobody have to learn about it. Everybody have it. How to be jealous, nobody have to learn it. Everybody have it. And uh, how, how to have be aggressive, how to be greedy, all these things. Uh, some people have more and some people have less, but we all have uh, this uh, naturally, naturally uh, learn by ourselves. And uh, then uh, uh, next, the uh, third. Uh, degeneration is uh, degeneration of time. So the time have so many periods of time, uh, but uh, our time is described as a, a 
time of conflict and the time of disharmony. So we look anywhere. There is disharmony between ideology, a conflict between ideology, conflict between religion, conflict between ethnicity, conflict between countries, conflict between continents, and conflict, uh, not only that, so many kind of conflict. But this one is particularly, particularly uh, describing the uh, conflict time, not uh, uh, a time of uh, uh, absolute uh, peace. Uh, this is time of conflict. And uh, uh, what should we do about it? Of course, we should do our best to overcome this uh, uh, conflicting jealousy, ego, uh, greed, uh, hatred, uh, or all these things. We have to do our best to overcome and we have to um, assist and uh, help uh, humanity, of course, and all sentient beings, of course. But uh, uh, so the time, uh, degeneration of time is this. The next is the uh, degeneration of being. So this one, very interesting, because uh, 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 one uh, uh, description of this is the uh, uh, degeneration of sentient being particularly human beings, of course, it is very difficult and uh, it is uh, uh, challenging uh, to uh, uh, create and assist somebody to be a good, good person. Very difficult. But of course, it is done, of course many, many good people. The world has so many good people, of course, but uh, not easy. And uh, then somebody is really, uh, let's say, fostered uh, to be a good person. Uh, then successful one year, successful one decade, successful two decades like that, but then all of a sudden, some circumstances, some environment, then that can ruin all of that effort. And that wonderful person can become a terrible person. There is that possibility. Of course, we should be positive. So somebody is terrible and that, that person have all the chance, all the possibility, to be a wonderful person, of course. But in this uh, degenerating time, then uh, uh, to become a, uh, not to become a perfect, good, kind, compassionate, wise, and uh, uh, a person full of wisdom is uh, not easy task to uh, foster. And so that is the degeneration of being. And uh, at the same time, in ancient, uh, ancient uh, religion of uh, uh, Tibet or system of Tibet before Buddhism, <coughs> so Buddhism came to Tibet. Uh, Buddhism came to Tibet a long time after Buddha's Paranirvana. So before that, uh, there was a religion called Bern. In the Bern, there is uh, something equivalent to this is described, uh, which, uh, which describes uh, the degeneration of the body, spirit, the physical body, because the uh, body have, is so uh, fragile and it is prone to so many disease and uh, uh, also uh, the sustenance for the body, which is uh, uh, food, uh, uh, water, solid food, uh, the liquid, liquid food, the water, the air, uh, 
or all of these degenerate so much so that uh, uh, in, in uh, let's say, uh, uh, eon of the light, uh, let's say uh, one spoonful of food, its nutrition, uh, then in the uh, eon of the uh, night or the uh, darkness, then uh, one ton of food does not have uh, uh, one ton, I'm just saying, but enormous amount of food uh, does not have the equivalent nutrition of one spoon of food that time. Uh, so, so that is degeneration of body according to the burn. Uh, but uh, uh, in the Buddha's teaching, uh, then uh, uh, the uh, uh, degeneration of being uh, means uh, mm, not only the body, not only the food, but uh, the, uh, uh, the quality of a person. Uh, so, so, so that. And then the last one, uh, the degeneration of the view or the degeneration of the perception. Now the degeneration of the perception and the view is uh, uh, how uh, everything falls apart uh, in individual life as well as in society's life as well as life as an entire humanity as well as all the, human, all the humans and the animals who live on this planet. Not only that, all the humans, all the animals, all the, all the spirits and the, all the gods and uh, everyone uh, live in this uh, solar system, live in this uh, uh, galaxy live in this universe, uh, they all degenerate. Uh, because, uh, 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 for example, uh, suffering uh, is not recognized truly. So, the suffering is uh, misunderstood or perceived as uh, joy and happiness. I give you one simple example. Uh, people uh, raise uh, uh, all kinds of uh, 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 animals. Uh, uh, that will uh, uh, cause fear in other more peaceful animals. And uh, then this uh, more uh, ferocious uh, looking and, uh, and uh, uh, powerful looking animals are used by humans against uh, those uh, more peaceful animals. And then, uh, then human beings uh, use these animals for their aid to uh, uh, scare those uh, uh, weaker uh, and uh, more vulnerable animals. And then that suffering is uh, uh, appreciated. And uh, uh, in, in, in Tibetan language, uh, we, uh, we have uh, like ngunchi, uh, means uh, hunting dog. Uh, and uh, so the hunters use dogs. Uh, and uh, uh, these dogs will go after deer or uh, bear or whatever they, they, they are hunting. And uh, then uh, they corner them and people go after it. And then uh, people uh, kill the animal and uh, they have a joy out of it. Uh, of course, a long, long time back uh, in uh, cave, cave uh, uh, dwelling uh, humans time, uh, they have to uh, kill animals uh, for sustenance and for living. But uh, 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 then uh, for many of human beings, 
uh, who, who uh, uh, enjoy uh, and uh, glorify the suffering of animal, uh, then uh, uh, actually uh, they are and we are, uh, I, I, don't, I never have to do such thing because that didn't happen in my life, but could have happened but didn't happen. But then we don't have to hunt to live. Uh, because uh, uh, whatever kind of protein that we need is available. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it is uh, uh, also somebody else's livelihood to provide those, thing, those things to us. But uh, we enjoy the suffering of others. Uh, so, uh, uh, and also uh, when I was, uh, 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 let's say, in my 20s, uh, I have been very active uh, among uh, uh, because I was invited from village to village, from uh, uh, community to community, and there I tell people to stop gambling uh, and uh, stop uh, uh, getting drunk, become alcoholic, stop uh, taking uh, drugs. Uh, and things like that. I, I did a lot. Uh, I mean, not enough at all, but I did. And uh, uh, so this way, I found out that the people uh, who, uh, who's, who normally it's a men, so wives come to me and ask me to tell their husband to stop uh, gambling and stop taking drugs and stop taking alcohol. Uh, many times like that, not always, but many times. So then I talk to these people, this, these gentlemen, and uh, ask them, stop drinking. And uh, uh, actually, uh, stopping drinking is much easier than stopping uh, uh, drugs and stopping uh, uh, gambling. Uh, because uh, stopping uh, drinking, if the person really want to stop drinking, if they stop, then a few days they become a little shaky, but after that they feel great. They look great. Uh, so, so that way, uh, then they overcome uh, uh, being an alcoholic and uh, become a somber person. Uh, of course, uh, alcohol itself is, of course, made out of grapes, made out of grain, barley, wheat, like that. You know, nothing wrong with that. But uh, when people drink alcohol to get drunk and then every day, then it is very bad for family, very bad for themselves, of course, very bad for their children and very bad for the society. Uh, so that way, uh, uh, that way, I, uh, uh, that's my experience. Drinking is the easiest one to overcome. But smoking and uh, taking drugs are much, much difficult because uh, people who smoke a lot and take drugs, they have to come to me several times. This year they, they say they will stop and then next year they come uh, and uh, when I'm in that area again and they will show up and say, I'm very sorry, I broke uh, my, my uh, a commitment and uh, uh, I wanted to retake. So they, they, they take this uh, vow not to take drugs and not to smoke like that several times, several years, then finally they manage. And uh, then gambling also, similar to the uh, smoking, because uh, uh, gambling is very interesting in my mind. Uh, when you gamble, uh, it is, uh, uh, I don't know uh, the, the, uh, the, the exact rules of the gambling, but uh, they use cards, they use uh, all kinds of things. Uh, some places they even use uh, animals uh, and like that. So, uh, so the point is uh, you put a minimum and you get a maximum out of it. 
and uh, uh, then everybody want it. So therefore, when others don't get it and you get it, then you get two things. One is you get uh, very easy money. That's one thing. Uh, but another thing is uh, you get uh, a boost of uh, 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 some sort of temporary self-esteem. Oh, I am lucky. I won. You know, the, I won. That means they lost. And uh, so I think that is uh, very addictive. And uh, as a result of that, I guess, I found uh, people to stop uh, 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 gambling is uh, uh, a little difficult. Uh, but uh, finally, uh, many people managed. So, so these are the, uh, these are the uh, view, the perception. Uh, so the, when, when perception is uh, like that, and it is acceptable, uh, then uh, it becomes... Uh, 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 degenerating factor. Uh, but of course, uh, I am not against people having fun, uh, you know, uh, and uh, uh, I, I uh, see uh, huge casinos and huge uh, places. Mm, some places in the airport, they have uh, small machines. You put something, some coin, and uh, pull something, and uh, loads of co coins come out and all of those kind of things. If you are not addicted to it, it is, uh, it is not that negative, but you can get addicted to it. And I heard from old Tibetan uh, persons that, uh, uh, that sometimes they used to gamble so much so that their house, their land, their everything that they put there and then they lose everything. And one day you are a big landlord and a rich person, and next day you have nothing. You have lost everything. And uh, then that is devastating for the society, devastating for the family, devastating for all the children and the relatives and the community and everyone. So that way, uh, so uh, that is one example, but it's not only that. Uh, uh, the the uh, degenerating of view is nothing is permanent, but we we uh, uh, we somehow uh, wanted to uh, believe that everything is permanent because I want it to be. Uh, then uh, uh, something that is uh, unhealthy. Uh, but uh, uh, because uh, uh, we have desire for it, so that uh, we make uh, it uh, healthy. And uh, uh, when some person are uh, very, very, very seriously alcoholic, when I told them uh, stop drinking like that, uh, then, then they told me this is food, this is good, this is the essence of Bali. This is the essence of grave. Uh, it is a good, but uh, of course it is good uh, if you take it uh, properly, uh, but uh, uh, it is uh, like a medicine. But then if you take a whole bottle of medicine, then uh, you end up in the hospital, you know? So that way uh, uh, it is the perception. And then the self, the I, that does not exist in a tangible manner. It is just uh, uh, the, a perception. And uh, I exist as others exist. And uh, when you uh, think of yourself, how important you are for you, then you have to at the same time realize that how important they are to them. World, as you know, is uh, about uh, uh, 8 billion people. And each one of them very important for themselves. 
Uh, they have their father, they have their mother, they have their brother, they have their sister. It's important and dear to them. So we have to have that uh, uh, correct understanding. But when we don't have that, then uh, uh, this uh, wrong perception is that I am important and I want what I like and that's it. So uh, it shouldn't be like that. And uh, uh, I hope uh, uh, what I have said here uh, is not too harsh for you or anybody. Uh, I don't mean to be, but uh, it is very important for us to develop a true, true compassion and true love and kindness, true one. So how can you do that? You and I, we should develop true compassion, true love and true kindness to ourselves first. We don't do anything that is harmful to ourselves. We do everything that is positive and meaningful and good to ourself. You know, uh, compassion means we, we don't create suffering to ourself. And uh, uh, the, the loving kindness means uh, we create, uh, we do everything to make ourselves feel positive as possible. So when we are able to do that, then we are able to at least, at least have the taste of true uh, joy and true absence of suffering. And uh, then we can translate this and we will translate this to others. If you don't love yourself, uh, uh, I sincerely uh, uh, feel and experience if I can't love myself, it is just a sort of uh, uh, illusion that we love all sentient beings. Because we don't know what is love, just a word. And so when we truly experience the love, the joy, the absence of suffering, absence of struggle, absence of negative, negativity, then we know what is compassion, what is uh, loving kindness. Then we want this for our family members. We want this for our neighbors. We want this for everyone, all parts of the world, regardless of religion, caste, creed, ideology, ethnicity, and not only human beings, to animals, to everything. And now I want to conclude here, but I will say a few things. That is, uh, it is also prophesied that as this degenerating time happens, then the earth itself cannot sustain all the living beings on earth. The ocean cannot sustain. The, the land cannot sustain. The fresh water cannot sustain. So all of this is happening right now. Uh, whether we like to believe it or not, I personally went to the top of the earth you know, Greenland. I want to go to the North Pole, but that didn't happen, but uh, very close. And uh, I went to all different parts of the world. And some places are really pristine and clean, but some places are really, really, really uh, unhealthy. And it is the same ocean. One part is clean, one part is not so clean, one part is terrible. But it is one ocean. 
So it's like our right hand is totally, totally in mess. Our left hand is perfect. But then sooner or later, this is going to spread throughout our body. So the environmental degradation or degeneration is uh, part and parcel of this whole thing. About that, Buddha have mentioned, and Guru Padmasambhava have mentioned. Actually, Guru Padmasambhava's uh, one of the uh, text uh, called Katang, in that uh, 96th uh, chapter, uh, have so much about uh, uh, prophecy related to Lord Buddha's teaching and also uh, the environmental degradation and all of this outside environmental degradation, inside the sentient beings all killing each other, conflict with each other and at the end they don't even like themselves and they don't even trust themselves and uh, so that way it becomes truly uh, desperate. And, uh, uh, but uh, I am not a believer of a doomsday. So Buddha never said that there will be a doomsday. So things will degenerate, degenerate, degenerate. And then finally, uh, then, then it will regenerate and regenerate and become better. So it is impermanent, you know. Uh, positive things are also impermanent. Negative things are also impermanent. Right now, all of us are going through some uh, difficult time. And uh, this pandemic thing uh, really uh, uh, made us uh, truly realize one, uh, uh, the, the virus which we can't even see with our own eye, somehow, you know, uh, caused uh, so much uh, uh, restrictions and sufferings for the entire world. And at the same time, we have so much progress, external progress, so much. We are going to the moons, we are going to the Mars, we, are, we know so much. So this way, I think uh, we see the contrast so clearly, so that we know everything is interconnected and uh, negative interconnectedness outcome is negative and positive interconnectedness is positive. So. I sincerely request each and every one for your sake, for my sake, for everybody's sake, be positive as possible. Even if it is difficult, just have the wish for it, have the aspiration for it. And then many of you are very positive people, of course. And you can do a lot. You are doing a lot. And uh, my salutation to all of you, especially during this uh, difficult time of pandemic, the doctors, nurses, scientists, and uh, then, then the, then, then the uh, individuals and communities, organizations, they have done so much. They are doing so much. So uh, all the best for everyone and uh, now I want you to dedicate any benefit that this uh, deliberation brought I want to dedicate it for the benefit of all mother sentient beings from the highest in the heaven to all the human beings and spirits and animals and to the lowest in the hell for all for all mother sentient beings sake I make the dedication. May they all be free from suffering. May they all be truly joyful. And may they all finally realize their primordial, perfect potential. Primordial 
wisdom, innate. Husunam de Tom Jezibani, Tom Nebe, Danum, Pamjin, Jeganange, Balap Tupai, Sibian Solan, Rowa Dover Show, and Jambala Pavi, Chitarachambat, Gundu Zambo, Teyang Tejin, Te, Teda, Gunje, Jeso, Taluj, Gewan, Dita, Tamje, Rabdu, Mo, Jina, Dewa, Tosu, Pendi, Namka Chaparisho. Duna, Dunghar Dagi, Kur, Kova, Dunghar Jansu, Tongbar, Shoo.